What's up, KMS band students? It's so nice to see everyone. Even though I can't exactly see you, you can see me, which I apologize about. <laughs> I'm coming at you from KMS East. My wife, Mrs. Hanford, is upstairs in her craft room teaching sixth grade ELA. Mallory, our daughter, is, well, she's probably still in bed, I'm sure, but she'll be up at some point soon doing schoolwork for FHS. It's her senior year. And I'm here in the band room, which is actually the basement. It's a nice little studio facility, kind of comfy, a little chilly. So, welcome to day one of KMS Band Online. I just kind of want to go over some of the basics, give you a little overview of how this is hopefully going to work. I'll be using a three-tiered approach as the format for our activities. Tier one would be skill building. Sixth graders, you'll be continuing as best as we can through the book, focusing on fundamentals that are covered in the pages that we're on. Seventh graders, major scales. We're supposed to start with our scale checkoffs right after spring break, so we'll keep up with that plan. And eighth graders, we're already in the midst of the arpeggio tests. The first one should have already been completed by now, and then there are two more. Next tier, musical enrichment. There's a multitude of YouTube videos, online streamed musical performances, and listening examples that I suddenly have the time and the opportunity to share with you, organized by grade level and how they relate to you, and what I hope that you'll get out of, out of viewing these. And uh, usually they'll include some sort of response like a seal paragraph or a reaction from you in some form, video or otherwise. Third tier, performance or performance preparation. Now, obviously, we would normally be preparing to put on a spring concert right about now, and you all hopefully have the music that we had been planned to use for that concert. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and continue preparing, and while who knows, we may never actually get to publicly put on a concert in the traditional manner, I've been doing some research, and we can definitely do some, or all of it, somehow. Once a week, I'll send out a short video like this one, just to sort of check in and give you some updates, some goals, stuff like that. Hopefully you'll find these videos informative and entertaining. <laughs> I've gone to great lengths to provide you with high production value and present these little talks in sort of a blog format. Hey, I even have theme music. That's not it, but there it is. So what I want you to do as you're incorporating some music into your online studies most importantly is to play set up your practice space in your house your living room your basement set up a schedule let the others in your household know that from this time to this time each day or every other day or whatever works best for you you're going to be playing your instrument 15 20 minutes whatever you work out and just ask for their understanding, for their patience, and ask them to help you to focus and concentrate and enjoy the experience. Also, do some performing. I have some band teacher colleagues doing something they're calling porch concerts every day of the week. And uh, we could do our porch concerts something like 2 p.m. So what I'm thinking is go out on the porch or in your front yard, or in your driveway, or uh, and play, just play. Play something that you've been working on, some part of a song, play a whole song, or something that you've learned or that you've been prep preparing over the day or the week. And uh, 
Wouldn't it be cool if other KMS band students could hear each other from their porches in your neighborhood? And the neighbors will love it. Trust me. Everybody's in need of a little music right now. Now, don't be obnoxious about it. Don't, like, play Baby Shark for a half an hour. But a little musical connection is good for the soul. And have your mom or dad take a video of it, send it to me. Or even maybe post it on Facebook or something. How cool would that be? So anyway, everyone, I hope you're well. Hope you're staying healthy, staying inside, washing those hands. And, you know, rock on. See you soon.